There's a little-known program at City Hall that's been made available over the last couple of years for those who are behind in their rent getting money to their landlord. Well, now that assistance is on the verge of being made permanent, but those who are fighting for more say it's still not enough. The, the, the last two years, we've seen a number of evictions that have gone through landlord-tenant board and how that, that could have been saved had there been this temporary, even a temporary relief to provide assistance to tenants. The Toronto Rent Bank was created by City Hall to help by originally issuing interest-free loans to low-income households since 1998. During the COVID pandemic, though, a one-year pilot was created to offer grants. A lot of people are already at the bottom, uh, especially in the working-class vulnerable, and uh, they have no means to get through. And it, 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 most of us actually live paycheck to paycheck. And uh, when, this, when this pandemic came, we were so unprepared. The grants for rent arrears can be up to $4,000 or three months, depending on which is lower. Since the pilot project was launched last April, the city handed out grants to more than 1,700 households who were able to avoid eviction, an increase of nearly 600 compared to 2020. We're able to reach more people, uh, so we've made some other changes as well, really, so that we can reach as many people as possible and, and help maintain their housing stability, which is so crucial to their own recovery from the pandemic. The highest concentration of grants approved are in York Southwestern and the northwest corner of the city, as well as downtown Toronto and Scarborough Centre. There's no shortage of people that are having problems making rents in this city. How extensive could this program be? Um, well, we've made uh, an investment of around uh, uh, $4 million, so including some city funding um, and also some kind of COVID-19 um, funding as well. Another $9 million is available over the next couple of years if approved. But as with any housing solution being offered, it's just a small piece of the puzzle. A real solution is to build affordable housing. It's going to take really long time to catch up with all the, all these missing years. But this making this uh, rent grant permanent uh, is is a is a one step in the right direction to alleviate alleviate some some uh, pressure. The planning and housing committee will be voting on whether to make the program permanent on Tuesday. It would then go to city council for final approval. After that, Mark McAllister, City News.